the Atlas of Monsters, um, Stuart Hill and Sandra Lawrence. Um, it's an Atlas of Monsters, but it's more than that. It's sort of presented like a real historical document from the, I think, um, is it the 17th century? Um, and um, it's some, as if someone's found it and they've annotated it and um, this guy's gone on a voyage and he's collected monsters as he goes and tells you all about them. And there are some really amazing, unusual ones. There might be ones you know, you might already know about the Krampus, the uh, Christmas spoiling um, monster. Um, you might not know about this guy whose name I can't even pronounce, but he's kind of... Um, a monster in the shape of a cow's stomach and he has many many eyes and he lives in a lake and he can drag you into it um, and this giant snail with arms um, if snails had arms uh, it would be too, it's really terrifying um, and this frog thing in the book of that um, who has an awful cry um, so much fun to read all of the descriptions of these monsters and fascinating to travel through the world and see the differences in in uh, in culture and and so much so much that monsters have to tell us um, about our imaginations um, and um, a really really wonderful gift book um, for children and adults. Curse of the Werewolf Boy by Chris Priestley. Um, Chris Priestley is an author we really love, um, usually for writing for slightly older children. Um, his tales of terror um, are genuinely scary um, for maybe sort of readers of, of I don't know, sort of between 10 and 13. Um, this is m aimed a little bit younger. Um, you could probably do this sort of 8 plus. Um, about two boys in a horrible school who um, experience werewolves and ghosts and vikings and really weird stuff going on in their school and at the center it, of it is a time machine which they finally gain access to and maybe they'll make things better or maybe they'll make things worse or maybe somehow they'll make things the same uh, we just don't know it's a really um, wacky enjoyable adventure which I would thoroughly recommend Spellslinger, which um, I enjoyed as a, a sort of kind of teen read, but not um, not too dark a teen read. A kind of funny and slightly flippant um, magical story. A boy who lives in a society of magicians who draw their power from this oasis in the desert, and there are threats to to their their kingdom from outside and inside. Um, He's expected to be a great magician, but he really isn't. He's kind of terrible. And I, I, I was worried I'd read things like this before, where at some point he would come into his latent powers and realise that he was actually amazing, but actually, no, he's awful. He's rubbish all the way through, and he just has to learn to live with it. And he becomes smart, and he can trick people, and he can find a, find a way to get, you know, to, to, to make things happen. Um, and he, it's his narrative, a funny first person, um, slightly self-debasing narrative that I really enjoyed. Great characters and um, a different sort of magic. I'm Just No Good at Rhyming, um, a wonderful poetry book um, written by Chris Harris and illustrated by Elaine Smith, one of our favourite American illustrators. Um, we don't sell enough poetry, and I would love to sell more, and I would love to sell this book more. Um, one of the first poems I flicked to when I first picked up this collection was Live Each Day Like It's Your Last. Live each day like it's your last, I heard my teacher cry. And so I spent the whole day screaming, I'm about to die! My mama wailed, my papa railed, my friends all wept with sorrow. Teacher's right, that sure was fun. I'll do it more tomorrow. Um, so many funny, creative, unusual poems in here. Um, you can tell they had a lot of fun creating this book um, together. Um, there's even one where um, the writer is um, kind of mocking the illustrator and the illustrator is mocking him back. Um, it's, it's, it's a real joy and, um, and um, add it to your collection. Nothing Happened by Mark Janssen, a really beautiful, different picture book. Um, and it's a 
sort of about a conversation between a little boy and a little girl about what happened with their day. And sometimes you'll get to the end of the day and you'll say, oh, nothing happened. But actually, maybe there were magical things going on all around you. So maybe you just uh, went for a swim. Or maybe you just heard some birds singing. Um, and put on a funny hat. And just thinking about what you might do tomorrow. Um, really nice and simple, but gorgeous illustrations and um, one that, that deserves to sell more.